Hi, YouTube. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, not too bad. I had just got through watching a video I shared in my community and on Facebook. Um, I know the influences of cults can be really strong within people, whether you call it religion or covens or, or you know, even maybe athletic groups or whatever. People have their own, um, like, level, like water seeks its own level type of thing in life. But what I watched in this video, a mother giving up her children to one of her friends to, like, go clean their house or whatever. And, um... Just the way the parents acted in this video, uh, these children had uh, rope burns, tape on them, you know, duct tape, blood. They were undernourished just about at the point of death. And the one little one that they thought was a boy went and rang the neighbor's door, a couple of them, till he finally found some help. And the sister, the little girl, sat in front of some food for about four hours because she was afraid to eat it. And then she downed a large pizza and another half of one. It took her four hours, though, to even touch that food. She was so afraid. I mean, for for a mother to do that to her own children or not even care what is happening to her children. I don't, any parent, man or woman, and the dad just as brain dead. It's like the thing that bothered my children to go like five years without seeing your children. I mean, yeah, I kicked them out, but I didn't kick them out of the kids' life you know, entirely. I just kicked them out of my house that I owned and worked for and took care of like a parent would without the retarded, I would call it like Bakken or devilish nature, demonic, satanic, dark witchcraft type of attitude around me. So... Yeah, good for them little kids got some uh, rescuing with all that. People think, well, they see people in uh, in public and everything that if they have nice clothes on or whatever, that everything's okay in their life, like with the kids and stuff. And that's not always the case. Sometimes that's an indication of just the very opposite. So, I don't know. It seemed like these people had a really large home when this woman got, well, if you want to call it a woman, the mother, when the police came, um, she's sitting there saying, we're a bed and breakfast and you're scaring our guests and whatever. But yeah, I left it. I left links to it if you want it's It's astounding that Today in our world, as advanced as we are, that people would still be treating their children like um, subhuman doesn't even touch what that is, you know, not even subspecies, but that that puts the human being in a lesser category than uh, a wild animal, like a squirrel. A squirrel takes better care of their young than a lot of parents do. That That's amazing to me. It just is, you know. Poor little kids. Of course they're never going to be the same. How could you be? They found that little one in a closet. Well, maybe some of you 
might have spent some time in closets, literally, as a young person, or your special hiding places, or whatever. I'm quite sure some of you did, actually. Might have been your room, but or a closet in your room, <laughs> you know, till you realize you really can't escape no matter where you're hiding. And then I'm watching uh, his Stoica. He's talking about Agrippa's magic and how he believed that um, there's a different way to do it than the dark necromancing magic that would be considered satanic, that, that he was moving in a different direction. Well, I don't see what his natural abilities of on our planet as any type of magic, you know, like you think of what you're going to do in your life and you take steps to move forward. Um, I believe this was my own personal belief, but um, I think the repetition of ritual or the act of ritual Maybe that's the wrong word that people are using for a, for a belief that the oversoul, the Lord of everybody, not just the host, but the controller, um, actually will give you what you want with that belief, you know, without the ritual. I don't know. Just thinking out loud and people in their magic. I've been called a witch. But that isn't the case. I'm far worse. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, it's like I shared, you know, I don't know how people are going to take me. That's totally up to them. But I shared a meme today, a couple of them get them get them thinking a little bit cuz i think it's it's funny um let's see where is that oh yeah it says it's a it's a let me see an opossum and it said i lied to you i'm not fighting my demons i am the demon well if you know what demon demon diamond is that's you know just funny within itself but then I put on top, maybe, one never knows, except I don't lie. Pretty sure I told you, LOL. Oh. And then I shared this one woman. Um, she's on my face Facebook. Um, she's in the house. She comes out. She's got this. Thing she puts different color wigs on it must be whoever is like um upsetting her and she just punches the bejesus out of this and oh now like the part that got me is she grabs it by the head it's a body punching bag type of thing she grabs it by the head and and throws her legs up around it you know like she's just gonna maul it you know and then Goes back in the house, comes back out, and does it again a few times. It puts a different wig on it. Well, this one, oh, it's bald, and she's just, um, she gets up in back of it, uses her leg and legs and stuff. It's funny. I find it humorous. I have so felt like that in my life before, but this woman's pretty powerful, pretty, pretty quick. I'm sure there's many men out there that have been um, demonized or, or attacked by a woman maybe where he didn't strike first. But I wonder what, what, what he did do before she did strike. That's just my, my, I'm not saying there aren't some crazy women that don't attack first, you know, because they're really out of their minds or anything, but 
Yeah, no. Anyway. Yeah. It's a beautiful day here. We had uh, plenty of rain yesterday. Sunshine today, but it was 53 degrees last night. It should be like 83 at night time around here. And I better better be quiet or it probably will be tonight. <laughs> you never know. The weather's been so goofy, you know. <coughs> Back to the magic thing. Um, if you've ever um, drawn off that power or tried to obtain some time type of power from an entity do you feel like you are indebted at all um is it or was it an agreement or are you a part of that entity um either working to uplift or ignorant of what you are doing that's you know i wonder how people are thinking when they endeavor these things you know how deep their thoughts really do go if it's on the surface for just their selves um or the the energy that they're drawing upon like are they giving back what do you give back when you're taking that energy you know, that's what's going to be straightened out in this world is the energy that is taken from the female that isn't um, honored. And the people that do that are going to have, um, they're going to have a, well, a worse mental ha handicap than what they have already because they are choosing to, to do the bidding of the darkness instead of what what um, that gentle nature with inside themselves is trying to to contact them that they're ignoring for for their ego's sake or the sake of their master that would want um, the existence of families on this planet to cease to exist. So there really truly is, in a sense, like in politics or whatever, yeah, don't pick a side. It's all baloney. But in our life and spiritually, we do pick sides. You better pick a side. You better make sure you're on the winning team. I would say the winning team would be the creator of all that is in this You universe as people would call it which um implies um somewhat of a disconnection or or uh like a duality of existences some people say like overlapping or that type of thing but i wouldn't describe like our cosmos, I wouldn't describe it as universe because that still implies, like, okay, I, I can explain it like this, I think. You have cars that are, I've tried to explain this before, I'll try again. You have cars that are, like, they would call, um, connected body cars. They're, they're, a part of the frame the metal and the frame are connected as one within their parts and then you have a unibody which is a suspended body on the frame although it has mounts to mount that body onto the frame it technically isn't a part of the same metal it's it's not integral it's not 
it can be removed. It was put there. It can be removed. So when people describe our existence here as universe, and they ask the universe for favors, that that one just that cracks me up entirely. But um, it really doesn't describe our position in our existence the way we are. Um, it depends on how how substantial you feel your body in this earth is to who you are inside or if you feel like um, like you're sort of here but you're not really type of a thing. Do you ever feel like that? I do. That's maybe a good thing. Maybe maybe my delusional self, um, maybe that comforts me in my own crazy mind, right? Yeah. But yeah. I'm I'm just saying that the energy that people draw off of It's never free unless you went into it paying ahead of time for a purpose as a part of the scheme. If you're not in that category, you really are playing with fire. There's no doubt, no doubt. So, and And just like men or women, it doesn't matter which, there was a white butterfly out there. Um, the dark force can use them to draw you into areas where it isn't appropriate maybe for your soul to be, you know. Um, learning about what people do with their energies and what they've done in the past and what they think they have achieved that's one thing, but actually practicing what people might do, say, like in a coven or whatever. Um, that's not a good idea. Using a lot of times set patterns by a psychopath like, say, if you were to follow the cult of Anthony LeBay, we all know that he ended up doing actual, um, literal taking of lives as a part of what he was doing um, to, to enhance his life in some psychopic way. If you were into that type of thing, well, could you say, well, all Satanists aren't created equal? It's a possibility. It's a possibility that somebody could have a love of the dead. But maybe that's only reserved for... God himself, you know, maybe that wasn't meant to be for humans, you know, why would you love, have love of the dead when life goes on, if you believe that you're an immortal soul, you know, what would be the need to practice any kind of necromancy, you know, I could see it as a joke, like, you're going to look into an old text and call this author forward as in a love of the dead. I love what this dead guy wrote. That's one thing. But, and I've heard that. And I can relate to that. That's like trying to get inside of, say, like a great mind that was a writer that you want to see what's inside that text. How was that person trying feel 
how they were feeling, say, like, um, say a thousand or three thousand years ago. What were these people feeling and thinking in their culture and the way they lived in that culture at that time, you know? And even still, how religions progress and migrate and change, how people have taken from one belief system and their neighbors right next door in a in a neighboring village will believe something just a little bit different but still close enough to see that these two ideas had merged in some way and all religions on the planet have and you can you can clearly see that aside from some um pretty elusive uh, places or or maybe maybe no I'll go back to my saying even the cannibalistic ones that they've found now that didn't have any other human contact until like recently or whatever it's still a dark um, existence of what they're forefathers were on this planet and still the progression of eat my flesh and drink of my blood type of Christian paganism, Bacchic Judaism, um, satanic ritualistic type of they're all the same type of thing because they all do rituals, they all do incantations and magic, and yeah, but it's still not like that, <laughs> that's not what I'm, I believe that's not what we're supposed to be doing in our hearts and our minds, even with another person's um, idealization or you know, how they view the world, <laughs> you know, it's still some other human's opinion. And I suppose, too, yeah, like I say, water does seek its own level, so, and people are like that, too, but, yeah, still can't believe a woman not caring to know that or knowing her children aren't okay, or even the dad, it's like, just that alone, that's enough to almost make you lose hope for the future of people. It's like, yeah, what? This, this woman needs to be put on a chain gang, just like I believe all politicians should be chained together and taken out to work on our roads and whatever, in buses. And if they don't work, they don't eat. You know, that's how they treat you or I. So, and I'm talking about these pederasts, these lay states, these um, people that take part in child predation or, or human degradation in itself. That's just sickening. They are all sickening. That somebody thinks that they could rule over me or you. Get a load of that, will ya? Come on, really? That's why I believe localized governments and getting, <clears throat> tearing down Washington, D.C. and giving the District of Columbia and back to the Native Americans. All, all national parks should go to the natives and they could open it up for recreation for the people and take care of their land like they always did. You know, people can use the excuse, well, there's more Europeans in our country than there is anybody else. So what? That just means that any native could walk in your home or on your land and squat right there and call it squatter rights and you'd be just fine with that. That's your attitude towards them in their own country. 
And I did hear that the other day too. I hear it quite often. The injustice even before a person even speaks it, where's your thought, you know? And you talk about justice and our freedoms in this country. You people are sick. <laughs> God. Wow. Like once again, right in my state, men, women, and children, they hung the natives that looked like me in the town square naked so all the people in that village could view their naked bodies hanging in that town called Mankato. It was called Wounded Knee. But yeah, Europeans really care about your own homes, don't you? And your own people, don't you? Your family members, your other... I'm, I'm such a mixed race, so I'm speaking to this, okay? But everybody cares about your own thing until it's you. You know? That's the truth. You know? It's like, I could say, well, my baby got raped, or I had, and I did have a guy thrown in jail for, with my son. The other one I tried to, and he had done it to other kids, but he was part, is part of the dark cabal. <coughs> so in the courts, I didn't get my way, but one time I did, because my children like me have been thoroughly annihilated by the dark cabal, just for who I am like that, fighting against them. But unless it was actually your baby that was raped, you would never know the pain of the mother or the child going through that type of thing that never goes away, you know, at least not in this existence. But like those children that got found in April, nobody's ever going to know the pain of those children being betrayed by adults. You'll never know that unless you've lived it and I, I believe some of you have in fact I believe most people on this planet have been a victim of misplaced sexuality I don't think they even scratch the surface of what happened to those little girls without the care of adults that love them you know and there's more of it on this planet than people will admit you could be sitting right in front of somebody that had been either abused within their own family, sexually, physically, verbally. Um, it could be a parent of yours, a sister, a cousin, brother, whatever. Um, your boss. People all over the place that have been in abused in different ways even from a from a weird look from a freaky perv you know or somebody way too old to be googling at some tiny beautiful critter you know that type of thing the in sickness on our planet that people just ignore that they're not talking about enough because they carry that shame knock it off did you go f yourself when you were under 30 days old, or if you had something like that happen, you surely didn't do it to yourself. It's not your shame to bear. It's the shame of these adults that won't speak on that type of thing because they either allow it or they're ignoring the pain of other people that have actually gone through that type of thing. Or they're, like I say, they're allowing it. There's a lot of people that are like oversexed and they think that it's some kind of special um, gift, you know, like everybody thinks they've got the best stuff out there, you know, that type of feeling, which is really and has always been really repulsive to me out of everybody. 
um, if you're like-minded, always searching for that one connection that is the the pinnacle of what love should be, you know, <laughs> then, then you would find how a lot of people act rather repulsive, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about young raging hormones. I'm talking about like young adult type of thoughts of connecting with the opposite sex, you know, that type of feeling, the real stuff, <laughs> you know. I'm going to get this uploaded. I wanted to share what happened to them little girls and talk a little bit on magic and misplaced sexuality and people's ignorance of the whole thing and their lack of talking like real people to one another. Um, the gifts of visions and dreams that people get that God puts in all of us that... Um, People have been taught that, um, like, you would be crazy if you talked about an outside uh, um, spiritual event because it happens to all of us and only the brave ones or ones that are told that you're part crazy or whatever are really going to be speaking to that. But it's the ones that, that are either working for the dark force or just lazy in general and don't care about other human beings. Um, those are the ones that actually are the opposition to what reality is, you know. So, well, everybody, have a really good night or day wherever you're at. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.